Hey everyone, I'm Matt Schrempf, and I'm the District Forester for the Montcombe, Kent, and Ionia Conservation Districts. Today I'm out at the Comden Towel Model Forest in central Montcombe County, which is owned and managed by the Montcombe Conservation District. This 69-acre conservation area is open to the public, features two miles of hiking trails that traverse both upland and lowland forest types, is a certified tree farm by the American Tree Farm System and is verified in forest and wetland habitat by the Michigan Agriculture Environmental Assurance Program, or MEEP. Today we're going to be talking about the eastern white pine. We'll go into how you can identify this tree in your own backyard and why it is such an important tree to the history of the state of Michigan. Eastern white pine is the only white pine that is native to Michigan, can be found in almost every county, and is the official state tree. Out here in the forest, you can see white pines in our mature white pine stand in the northeast corner of the Comden Town model forest. It is an evergreen conifer, meaning that it retains its leaves or needles all year long, and the cones are actually what hold the seed. It can grow in a wide variety of soils, making it a great tree species for Michigan, which has everything from well-drained sandy soils to silt and clay heavy mucks. It is the largest conifer in the upper Midwest, reaching heights upwards of 150 feet and diameters upwards of 40 inches. The easiest way to identify conifers apart from each other is with their needles. Pine, spruce, fir, and cedar needles are all different from each other. Pine needles always occur in multiples. We call these bundles or fascicles. White pine needles come in fascicles of five needles all attached at the base. The main trees that may be confused with white pine are red pine and jack pine. However, both of these only have two needles per fascicle. The needles of the white pine are a bluish green and two and a half to five inches in length. The cones are a reddish brown, about four to eight inches in length and about an inch thick at full maturity. The cones are usually curved, take about two years to fully mature and hang upside down from the branches before they fall. They also do not require extreme heat to open, unlike some other western pine species. The bark on young trees is thin, very smooth, and is often a greenish brown, while mature trees become a very ashy gray with a plate-like formation with furrows that separate them. White pine played an important part of Michigan's history as it was one of the most abundant and useful trees during the period of westward expansion. They were mostly found in the northern lower peninsula in a large portion of the UP. The best pine was found in the high plains, which were the sandy plain areas between Grayling and Gaylord. Before the railroad made it north of Lansing, pine trees were moved by the major rivers to mills on the coast. Most of the pine cut in Montcombe County during this time was floated down the flat river to mills in Grand Rapids. Intensive harvesting practices nearly cut all of the white pine from the state by 1900. At the peak of the timber boom, mills had cut 5.5 billion board feet of lumber in just one year. This is about 10 times the current annual production from all species. For reference, this is what one board foot looks like. This piece of pine has the dimensions of an inch thick and 12 inches long by 12 inches wide. So you can imagine 5.5 billion of these being produced in just one year from just eastern white pine. Today, white pine is once again growing across the landscape and being managed in a sustainable way. Besides lumber, white pine is also an important species for windbreaks, wildlife, and for ornamental plantings. When planting, it is important to protect white pines from browsing by deer, rabbit, and other herbivores as it can be very tasty, especially during the winter when nothing else is around. Tree tubes can help protect from browse as well as stem rubs from deer as seen on this small pine here. Young white pine stands can also provide habitat for ground nesting species such as this deer bed here if planted in thick, dense stands. With your help, we can ensure the future of white pine across Michigan for generations to come. Conservation districts statewide hold an annual spring tree sale featuring trees and shrubs for a variety of uses. 
Plant them in your backyard, your 20 acres, or out by the pond, and you too can play a role in the Great Michigan Reforestation Project. For species selection, ordering information, and planting suggestions, contact your local conservation district today.